So I look after equipment standards for the RNA. That comes down to three basic activities. It's checking clubs and balls against the rules as they exist today, to evaluate the rules and check they're still pertinent to the way the game is played today, and to conduct fundamental research into the physics of golf. I've been doing it now for 10 years based up here in St Andrews and it's a great place to work. So we have two facilities within St Andrews that are run by the Equipment Standards Department. We have one that's up near the 18th Green, which is for really a laboratory for testing clubs that come in. We get between two and 3,000 clubs tested for, sent in for testing each year. Down here at the test centre, we tend to test the tests. So here is where we conduct more of our research and if we get a club that we don't think the results are quite right for, we'll put them in the robot, put it in front of a cannon, test it and see just how that ball will fly off that club. So what we try to do is get the robot to deliver the club in the same way as the human did, but we can get it to do it time and time again. We can also vary slightly, maybe move that impact location slightly towards the toe or the heel and we'll use the trackman to see what kind of impact that has on where the ball finishes or perhaps the amount of spin. And we've enjoyed that kind of collaboration with Trackman over the years where Trackman as a company has always been open to us feeding back stuff and they've been very responsive to our requests. The rules of equipment range for, pertain to everyone who plays golf, right from the club golfer to the highest level of professional golfer. And that's one of the strengths of the rules of golf and also one of the challenges for us. Over the years, equipment has evolved, but our role is to make sure that there is a level playing field, that people can't unduly sort of buy skill. That really, we're there to make sure the equipment's fair for all. There have been tremendous advances. Golfers now can get equipment fitted far better for themselves. That has really seen an improvement, but at the same time, we have to make sure it doesn't give the, the elite player too much of an advantage.